Hi, this is Austin with Brush for Hire with another painting tutorial featuring the Skaven Clan Rat from Warhammer Fantasy and focusing on techniques that will help you paint a horde army quickly and easily. So the first thing that we've done is primed the model white and we've just got it attached to the top of an old Citadel paint bottle so we've got a nice grip. Next we're going to apply a coat to the entire model of a mixture of calvin brown and pretty much any diluting agent. You can use water, but I suggest a thinning medium uh, or a matte medium. But cover everything, and this should give you some, uh, some nice dark browns in the recesses on the model. Up next we're going to take some thin down Talern flesh and we're going to hit some of the areas on the open skin here. Basically what we're going to be doing with a lot of the, the skin areas is looking at where all of the, the Calvin Brown wash mix that we used is lying and kind of use that as a road map to figure out where the highlights should be. So we're going to leave as much of the dark brown recesses as we can on all of the skin areas. Uh, that we did in the previous step and try and cover some of the lighter areas that are showing through from the primer with Talon Flesh. Now on the tail I realized that you're going to have some trouble hitting every single one of these little striations in the tail. Now at the base it's going to be pretty easy because they're fairly large. Uh, but up near the top, you're just going to end up having to get some down in the crevices, and that's okay because we're going to apply some more wash and that'll help sort of deal with that dilemma. Now once you've got the Talon Flesh down, you're going to do a one-to-one -one mix of Talon Flesh and Skull White and come back in with a very thin mix of that onto the most upward facing portions of the areas that you just put Talon Flesh down on. This is going to give you a quick sort of secondary or tertiary highlight depending on if you count the wash in the beginning as one of those layers. Make sure that you leave plenty of the raw talon flesh behind as you go along through this process. If you cover up all of it then there's no point in doing a second layer of shading. We'll do a quick dry brush of Kimry Brown over the wooden parts of the shield just to help cover up any of the white primer that's still showing through. Up next, a little bit of Augrin Flesh Wash will help us bring out some of the detail in the tail again. And then we will also be recoating most of the flesh areas that we just did the, uh, the two-tone shading on before. This step and further shading on the skin is not exactly necessary, but I think that it's still quick enough that you can do uh, without too much of a hassle and get through plenty of them in a very short period of time. Uh, we're just going back over with a little bit more of our one-to-one uh, -one mix of Talon Flesh and Skull White. Make sure that it stays very thin so that the edges of it feather nicely and you get a good transition and not just hard lines. On the tail here we're just going to do a few of the striations down near the base of the tail where they're still large. We're not going to work our way back up because we run the risk of ruining some of the uh, fine detail striation if we uh, work our way back up to where we just washed. So next we are going to take some Devlin mud and we're going to hit all of the parts with fur. And while we wait for that to dry we'll go ahead and start working on all the metal parts on this model. We're just using the chainmail metal from Citadel and uh, making sure to keep it nice and thin so that it will accept a wash without uh, showing any of the brush marks. This model actually has a fair amount of metal on it, so this will be good practice for, for doing smooth metallics like this. Alright, so here are all the metals with the metal base coat down. 
And next, we're going to hit the couple little areas that we have uh, leather on with a little more Calvin Brown. There's probably not a whole lot on these models. And next, we're on to Mechrite Red foundation color. We're going to try and keep this as smooth as we can without it uh, getting particularly runny. And we're going to coat the cloak with that. This will also be the base color for the eyes. Just try uh, not to let it run into the areas surrounding the, the actual pupils. And then next we're going to use some Deneb stone and just touch on all the teeth and nails here. Then once the Mechrite Red from two steps ago is done, we will cover the entire red surface with Devlin Mud. This will give us some very quick shading. And then on all the metal plates, we're going to use Griffin Sepia. This will give us a tarnished, patina, almost rusty look very quickly without very much effort. Make sure to apply liberally. And then at the gum lines on the teeth, I like to add a little bit of Devlin Mud. And the final touch will be a tiny little dot highlight on the eye, which will be done in Reaper Explosion Orange. And that will complete the painting of our Skaven Clan Rat. Here's a look at the finished product. You can base to your taste. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and tune in for future installments. And as always, Happy Wargaming.